I'd have to say the, the toughest moment in my career was when I broke my kneecap in uh, 2006. I had a compound fracture on my, um, was it my right knee? Yeah, it was my right knee. Uh, I mean, it's been so long, I pretty much like blocked it out of my mind. But <laughs> yeah, uh, I was out for a few months and uh, my knee was, was uh, pretty mangled. And um, it's one of those, especially if it's your lower body, like with skateboarding, you're, you're like, am I, and, and you know, when you're hurt, you, you keep like doubting yourself, like, am I ever gonna be able to come back and, and get back to where I was? Or is my, my leg ever gonna function like it used to? Or is this gonna be like, a, like you know, or is this injury gonna end my career? So I don't know, it's, it's a pretty tough period, period to go through. You have to stay positive and, you know, you don't want to like let yourself go or like, you know, you just got to stay strong mentally, you know, par through it, do your rehab. And then, and then uh, definitely takes like a few months to get back to normal. I'd say it took me six months, you know, to get back to being able to skate like I used to. But, um, you know, I guess it's just part of the game and that's what makes you a good skater if you're able to, to you know, um, fight that kind of stuff and then get back to where you were even if you do get hurt you know because you you will get hurt at, at some point and you're you know uh i guess the the, the better you know the tougher people are going to be able to to get through that kind of stuff and get back to where they were before to where if you're kind of like mentally kind of weak i'd say you know you might just give up and be over it